Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. Let's start to explore the Tarsus facility. Now that we just entered through the hole in the wall. These look like human sized tanks. You've already seen the lab, so I guess it won't hurt anything for you to install a few biomods. You'll be needing them. The canisters will transfer seed populations of nanites into subregions of your body. You will need to configure each subpopulation for a specific skill. For instance, the actin drivers in your legs can either increase your speed or quiet your footsteps. Not both. It's a little late for a seminar on my biomod architecture. The Tarsus program may be unconventional, but trust me, we take care of our trainees. The people attacking Tarsus, are they the ones responsible for Chicago? What's going on? The Order is an intolerant cult. They hate multinational corporations and the private security forces that protect them. Which means me. Exactly. But I don't think they were involved with Chicago. They're a worldwide organization, not a band of terrorists. This is Doesn't look that way to me. Many organizations would like to see us fail. That's perhaps all I should say for now. Why should I trust someone who spies on me in my own apartment? We keep our operations secret for a reason, Alex. Don't expect a full debriefing while you're still in danger of being captured. Now install your biomods and get out of there. Just acquired a biomod canister. Use to upgrade and customize your character. B to go into the biomod screen. Okay. So we got three biomods. Ooh, and a bunch of things. Uh, what are these? Piezochem biomods. Here are the current prototypes listed by body slot. Just a list of things that I can get. Documented illegal biomods. Bot domination. Neural interface. Spy drone. Health leech drone. Electrostatic discharge. Biomod energy drain. Passive biomods do not require activation and drain no bioelectric energy. Active biomods, however, must be turned on and drain power while they're operating. Active biomods include vision, regeneration, spy drone, speed, cloak, and thermal masking. Okay. So, sounds similar to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. is this thing? Doesn't do anything when I touch it. Just a cool little gadget, I guess. Biomod overview. Five body slots for biomodification. Arm, cranial, eye, leg, and skeletal. Okay. Wait, actually, that has something else important. Only one type of biomod can be installed in a slot at a time. However, you can overwrite them with a new biomod or upgrade the current one. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's available. Okay, so I think I've decided on the three that I want. So yeah, you have all these uh, five different slots here. This one seems to be a biomod that I think I just have by default. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, these are the five different slots. Each one has three different things that you can get. Remember, you can only have one of these at a time. You can overwrite it and change it to something else with another biomod if you'd like, or you can upgrade a single one multiple times, but you can only have one of these at a time in each of these slots. And the one on the right in each category, the one that's red, requires a black market canister. Which is unfortunate, because I really wanted this one. It enables user to hack security computers, but that's a, unfortunately a black market canister one, so it's going to have to wait. So I think I want, and these are really hard to choose between because like I want multiple things in each category. But I'm gonna go with this. Enhances movement rate and jump distances, decreases fall damage. Like I wanna get this too because it makes me quieter. But uh, just for maneuverability, I really wanna be able to jump up to high places. Level two, greater movement rate and decreased energy drain. Okay. So it sounds like I probably have to activate it to be able to jump super high. It's not a passive thing, I think. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, so for I we have regeneration, 
or vision enhancement enables night vision enhancing critical targets let's get vision enhancement Ooh, at the next level organic targets visible through walls that would be super good uh what was the other one i was going to get because maybe i want to get a level two instead thermal masking oh it was the strength enhancement yeah um, enhanced melee damage, don't care too much about that. Throwing distance, eh. And damage done to targets by thrown items. That would be good, because I might be able to destroy boxes and stuff by throwing stuff now. And also increases carrying capacity, which I'm assuming gives me more inventory slots. Which, if that's the case, then, like, I've already run out of storage room in, like, two seconds. So, yeah, I'll get that. Level 2 just increases the same things again. Systems are far more efficient than the standard piezochem architecture. Now get down to the street. The elevator on this level uses the lab's general access code 3445. Our are securing the building. Okay, so B. Uh, yeah, so this one apparently I just have. Allows you to see in dark areas. Cannot be upgraded. So let's double click to activate. We have reprogrammed your security systems. So is that actually taking up power? What is my power bar? I assume it's the thing on the top right. It doesn't seem to be going down. Hmm. So is there like no faster way to activate these things? Do I have to open up B every time I want to enable one of these things? Like press B, double click something, press B again? That kind of sucks. Um, let's... No energy cost. Yes, I don't have to enable that. That just works. That does have to be enabled. Tarsus and the tyrants who established it. I'm looking at my... Oh, my energy bar just went down. Um, let's see if it goes down just while having it activated or if I have to be using it. Okay, it just... Yeah, it keeps going down. Even if you're not using it. Well, I can't really test out the jump height in here, unfortunately. And let's try vision enhancement. Ooh, that looks terrible. Not exactly the best place to use it, though. And something I really want to know is, does my power just, like, passively regenerate, or do I need some sort of healing-type thing? I don't know. If I eat, it's not going to do anything, right? Nope, that just restores health. Hm. Well, we'll figure it out. You know, I don't actually know how to put away my items. Oh, you just press the same number key as the item? So like, two takes out the pistol, two again puts it away? Okay. The terrorists reprogrammed our security, and that turret up there means business. So we're trapped because the order's out there, taking down scientists. There's gotta be some way to outsmart a camera. If you can sneak past the camera, or take it out with EMP, you'll be fine. As soon as that camera catches sight of a target, the turret opens fire. Sounds easy enough. Do you want to follow me through? I'm not willing to take that risk, but you guys are trained for that sort of thing. I'm just supposed to be quietly observing students and taking notes from behind the glass. Hopefully backup will show up soon and rescue me, but you don't have that luxury. You cannot let yourself be captured. Okay, have it your way. I think I have an EMP, don't I? Flash, yeah, EMP, just one. Let's put it here. Trust me, Tarsus has a strict policy against voyeuristic behavior by our researchers. Your living quarters were observed only to ensure that our graduates show no behavioral abnormalities after the biomod infusion procedure. Order be praised. Okay, <laughs> whatever, go fuck yourself. Subject journal, Alex D. Arrival, brainwaves, data, blah blah blah, fatigue, curiosity, stress, indicators minimal, muscle fiber scan inaccurate, subject did not disrobe, suggest requiring Chicago subjects to shower before briefing. Eh, just 
case note's not that interesting. When a camera detects an intruder, it will sound an alarm alerting guards and activating turrets. Cameras and turrets are highly resistant to bullets, but susceptible to explosives, EMP attacks, and multi-tools. You can often sneak past a camera by avoiding the field of view or by using the thermal masking biomod. Some cameras and turrets are linked to security computers. If you have the computer login or the neural interface biomod, you can control or shut them down. Well, I don't have the biomod. I want it, though. Ooh. Wait, fire extinguisher added to inventory. I can, like, use it? Puts out any fire and can be used to blind enemies. Oh. Oh. I, yeah, I forgot to look at my inventory. So it's supposed to increase my carrying capacity. Uh. Ooh, I still have just six slots. Does it, like, make it so I can hold more of each item? That didn't do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, if that doesn't give me more inventory slots, I don't think it's worth it. Too heavy? I have the strength thing in- Wait a minute, do I have to activate it? I forgot. I think it's passive. No, it's, it's passive. I guess carrying, maybe carrying capacity just means you can hold heavier things, like, like this, potentially, if I upgraded it even more. Oh, whoa. Oh. Okay, so cameras can be partially triggered by throwing objects, gotcha. <gasps> energy cell! Using active biomods to deplete your bioenergy supply, restores them, mm -hmm. press V to open your inventory screen, okay. Yeah, like, you have so little inventory space. Dear God, give me more. Anomaly detected. You must be the captain who goes down with the ship. In a manner of speaking. We won't hand our research over to fanatics. Not without a fight. Something's happening. Another squad of terrorists. Where? Right below us. They're going through the apartments. You sure you're gonna stay and fight? If our enemies capture this facility, they'll learn how you were made. Stand by us, Alex. You're the one with combat training. Maybe you could handle the intruders before they reach my companion and me. Is this entire facility for studying us? The trainees? Was I under the microscope in Chicago, too? Biomodification is more involved than you might imagine, Alex. This facility was for your protection. You know my name. I better know a lot more than that if my code is going to be regulating protein synthesis in the cells of your body. You know, they could just Whoa! ask me for my consent. Where's the shooting coming from? Wait till it's your turn. What? You will sow no more. No take more. I assume the stun prod would like knock him out, but it just stuns him for a couple seconds. I love their floppy bodies. The We're in danger. I, uh, it's not safe. It. Maybe stay away from the windows and the turrets. You think? What are you doing over here? Stay here. Jeez. There's my apartment. So how do you non-lethally take people out, if not with a stun broad? Maybe you don't. Like, maybe this isn't a game where you can do non-lethal stuff very easily. Oh, it's a security computer. How's my health, by the way? Oh, it didn't actually take that much damage.
Oh, did they? Oh, funky. Yeah, that's nice of them at least. It looks like the food that you pick up, it's kind of generic food. And even if it's multiple types, it all stacks into one inventory spot. That's cool. At least saves you a little bit of space. Explosive box. Why are these here? Why do you have them? That is very dangerous. Analysis of illegal biomods. Unfortunately, these rogue and independently produced biomods are still rare. They mimic piezochem architectures for genetic compatibility. However, their infusion signatures are completely foreign, making it impossible to mix the technologies. The long-term effects of such of using such unethical and strange tools are still unknown. Is this an illegal biomod? Black market biomod! Yes! Uh, wait a minute. Using biomods. Press... Press numpad 3. Um, what? Oh, you can use them F1 through F6. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not too bad. Although... So that's, yeah, that's light. Huh. It's a little bit annoying that you can't reassign them to different keys. It looks like the biomods, you know, F1 just corresponds to the first slot, second slot, but each slot is dependent on, like, which part of your body, so you can't actually move it around. Anyway, uh, let's get the security computer thing. There we go. Whoop. Sorry. How many multi-tools do I have? Three. Nice. Four. Let's see. Neural interface biomod allows you to hack into security terminals. Uh, target it and press right mouse. Mm -hmm. At level one, you gain access to the most basic functions on every terminal. As you upgrade it, you will be able to access more advanced functions. Be careful, using the neural interface can attract attention or attacks. And I'm going to settle this right now. The order reprogrammed our security system. We're stuck here unless we can get past the beam trigger. What's it do? Trip an alarm? Are you kidding? This is a top secret lab. Those are gold beams. They're set up to flatline a person in about a quarter second. Is there another way out? I guess this room might have a ceiling vent or something, but that won't do me any good. I'm claustrophobic. If you've got a multi-tool, you might try hacking the control panel next to the beams, or disable it with an EMP weapon, or or something else that might work. Just blow the whole thing up with a grenade. There's red beams that trip alarms, and green ones that trigger gas bombs. Or you could just let me finish hacking this thing like I was doing. Leave me alone. They really, because they're claustrophobic, they would just die in here and they wouldn't go through a vent. Go find someone else to bother. Oh. Security camera. Uh. Do I have to press enter? Oh, I guess I have to press enter, which is weird. I have to take my hand off the mouse and press enter on each one to turn it on or off. Oh, I just took control of the security camera. Lab turrets... Uh, I can't change the lab turrets with my current interface level. Or change that. But I can turn off beams. Nice. Thanks. I think I'll hide out upstairs. You do that. I'll probably still go through here anyway, just for the hell of it. Oh, you a health bot? Hey, friend. You're near a med bot. If you're wounded, med bots are programmed to automatically attempt to heal you. Public medical terminal. Diagnostic corpus updated daily. 
That is a violent spray. Strange. Tracking infrared disturbance. For her holiness. Well, the camera seems to be triggered because it's on the bodies. Actually, it's okay now. Can I destroy it? Oof, ow. Yeah, but that's probably not the best thing to do, huh? Release lab spider bot. Uh, okay, I just did that. Is it gonna attack me? Hey, buddy! Oh, look at it! Oh my god, it's adorable! I love it. Oh god. The turret? Trying to shoot me? I guess I got lucky. Turn back. Unauthorized personnel presumed to be hostile. The violator is authorized to leave immediately. Enemy returned. They do some interesting things when you pick them up. They don't disappear instantly, but the collision disappears instantly. So if you pick one up that's below it, then it just does that. Whoop! Falls through it. The order is with you. Go. You're free. Who are you? I'm Lin Min Chen, High Augur to Her Holiness. We can't protect you in Upper Seattle. You will have to come to our church, then we can talk more. Protect me from who? Dr. Nassif, she will try to recapture you. No one forced me into the Covert Ops program. That's because you never tried to leave. Believe me, you would have been killed the second you let down those scientists. The ones posted around your bedroom back there. The only killers I've seen so far are your order troopers. I apologize. My overzealous captain disobeyed orders. He was instructed to mount a rescue. You can't control your own people? The church suffers from certain internal disputes. I can explain more later. Hurry, Alex. You'll find us in the old Hartford Turbine Factory in Lower Seattle. Organizations, factions, and competing goals. Throughout the game, various groups will give you objectives and goals. These goals may be at odds with each other. You are free to choose your own course of action. There is no wrong path through the world. Your goals are stored within your data vault. Press N to access the data vault. What's my current goal? Report to the Order Church in Lower Seattle. Ma'am, that's close enough. Do not approach the checkpoint. What's going on? Why am I the one being questioned? I just escaped from a raid on Tarsus. Let the WTO handle this disturbance. Just answer my questions. Who do you work for? All non-enclave workers must leave the area until security can be restored. That's one of them. Are you sure? Positive. Okay, you can pass, but you're instructed to report immediately to Chief Morgan at the WTO air terminal. Is something wrong? 
Just move along so we can seal off the area. You'll be safe in the WTO Enclave. Whatever you do, don't go down the Inclinator into Lower Seattle. The Order terrorists are strong there. Well, I guess here's the orders being at odds. Don't go down, but that's where the order is. Oh, one out of three. Port to WTO. Protect scientists, collect reward. Tell the scientists that the terrorist threat has been eliminated and collect a reward. Uh... Like, go back into the compound and tell them? No thanks. <laughs> I'm good. We've gotten past the checkpoint. Good. Now forget everything those troopers just said. I trust the WTO about as much as I now trust Tarsus. If you need further proof of the program's duplicity, you should stop by Nassif's apartment. I got the address when I broke into her office. Apartment 2224, Emerald Suites. I'm transmitting a map of the complex to you now. Okay, let's go there first then. 2224. Uh... Wait, did you transmit it? Emerald Suites stored in Data Vault. Where? Oh, oh, this is the Emerald Suites. I thought this was the old apartment map. Oh, but that doesn't actually tell me where Emerald Suites are, just once I'm there, where it is. Hmm. Well, it's probably Get not- Get out of Upper Seattle while you can. The WTO could decide to arrest you at any moment. You can reach the lower districts via the Inclinator at the northwest corner of the Enclave. I'd rather be with you the Northwest corner, so that's this way. Oh yeah, Inclinator. But I want to go to the Suites first. And I want coffee. The new face of hate. They call themselves the Knights Templar and claim... Oops. You care about the people who lost everything during the collapse. Okay, is this propaganda? <laughs> My business plan didn't have a column for acts of terror. Kind of messes with the Pequicino price point. That bad. I charge almost double compared to Queequeg's coffee in Lower Seattle. Why? Terrorism, taxes, rent. Rent, I hear you. The WTO shouldn't ration construction permits. You're telling me. I know a guy who works at Symmetria. He says nanoformers could rebuild all of Seattle in about five years. It's a shame. To hell with an economic shock. People want the new cities and they want them now. Why... Why does it take so long for people to reply back and forth? There's like a two, three second gap. Just checking up on my vestment. I guess business is a little slow because of the terrorist attack on the block. Could be. Library was just telling me about it. Tarsus Academy, right? Usually the order goes after the Inclinator. Business is always about the same, since you asked. That's what I was saying. You can barely make a profit up here because of the high rent. Yeah, I wouldn't have to pull so much volume if I had a branch in Lower Seattle. What's it to you? Just curious. The Pequods in my hometown was always packed. Personally, I think it's about time Lower Seattle, Queequeg's Coffee in particular, got their own taste of terror. I hear you. Have something specific in mind? Not that I'd want to see anyone get hurt, but I'd pay to see someone break in and set fire to their inventory of coffee beans. <laughs> nice. That's arson. Very perceptive. You look like one of those Tarsus kids who hang around here. They do the job, maybe just lob a grenade in there or something. Interested in a little adventure? I'd have to think about it. The Queequeg's manager lives in apartment 21 of the Heron's Loft building. I bet you could find the code to the shop there. Careful, though. He's always loafing around at home since he doesn't have to do the 24-hour shtick like us. Goal received. Coffee wars. Destroy beans. <laughs> Just set fire to their beans? I'm sorry, dude, but I'm not gonna do that. That's fucked up. I will gladly loot their apartment, but I'm not gonna destroy their precious beans. Soda machine, right mouse to hack. Ooh. 
I can hack free snacks now? Probably shouldn't do that in front of the store owner, though. Nuke gold. Get nuked. Now comes in lemon flavor. A oh, nice little lounge down here. Coffee science. 137 trimeth xanthine is the major pharma pharmacologically active ingredient in coffee also known as caffeine it is quickly absorbed in the blood and body tissues following consumption its property as an uh, adenosine antagonist enhances its action on the central nervous system as a stimulant our love affair with the bean <laughs> the legend. One day, Kaldi found his goats gathered curiously around a dark green leafed shrub with bright red berries. After trying them himself, he discovered their powerful stimulating effect. Monks at a local monastery soon began relying on the berries' effects to stay awake during extended hours of prayer. And so coffee was born. Upper and Lower Seattle. Oh, we already read this. You know, I find it very strange that something like this is too heavy to pick up, and yet it moves like it's made out of paper mache when I touch it. Resonance. Are they selling something? What are they selling? Fashion? Probably not a very good ad if you're not even sure what they're advertising. Citizens, we have been accused of over-engineering our economy. Well, this is the legacy we inherited from J.C. Denton. J.C. Denton, the solitary criminal mind that precipitated the Great Collapse and showed us just how fragile the old system was. But how, you ask? Just a rumor, you say? No. My investigators have uncovered proof underground at Area 51 that he was not working for the United Nations, and in fact that there never was a global terror network. He acted alone. Even the recent Chicago disaster pales in comparison to his crimes. Trust the WTO's cautious policies. They protect civilization from madness itself. I take offense to that. I played as J.C. Denton myself. I don't think I know you. For all your travels, map sync shows you the way. Oh, it's a city map of Upper Seattle. Each map is crafted by an order member with accuracy and love, in the hope it will help you on your search for inner peace. Please enjoy this map of Upper Seattle. May Her Holiness watch over you. It's gotta, it's gotta be a pretty big map, right? No, but that's it? That's the entirety of Upper Seattle City Center? That is so small. There's the coffee shop, there's stairs, the elevator I came through, and there's the inclinator. Wow, that's like nothing. So I guess I, I guess I want the stairs. Order fanatics want to destroy the Enclave system. Terrorists are planning attacks in the night. The Order and WTO are locked in an endless, invisible war. Not so, citizens. The Holiness and I are meeting this week in Trier, Germany, to negotiate better relations. We do not condemn religion, nor do they condemn free enterprise. We will find common ground. God, I can hear them from across the map. Uh, but yeah, this is the Emerald Suites. Processing. Security Chief Donna Morgan. You were told to report to the air terminal. Very well, but do us a favor. The Minister of Culture lives in the penthouse here. We believe he is smuggling equipment and violating WTO import-export regulations. Search his apartment for a vault containing contraband. Okay. Sure. I, I would love to. I plan on checking out every apartment anyway. People in this game world really just don't care. <laughs> just like, okay, do you disobey orders? Cool, break into this person's apartment.
hell of doing that so much. Oh, so many multi-tools. Oh no, my inventory is full. So... Looks like I'm limited to five multi-tools. Well, there's no way I'm going to let it pass me by. Oh god, I wish I could hold more. What do I dump? Food? A grenade? Energy cell? I mean, I guess the fire extinguisher. Ooh. Looks like there's a bad time behind there. Yeah, let's leave that closed. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, Hello? I'm going to check out the Emerald hey. Suites.